to! My name is Nier and this is an unscripted, completely off the top of my head thoughts on J.J. Abrams directing episode 9. I literally just found that out on Twitter. I'll just hopefully put a picture up here. I just found it out on Twitter from the official Star Wars Twitter, J.J. Abrams to write and direct episode 9 of Star Wars. And my thoughts on that are, when I read it, I was, that was my first thoughts. Ah, uh, because I really liked Force Awakens, I loved it, but it was, it had way too many similarities to New Hope. I mean, at first I didn't have a problem with it, but I did notice the similarities, there are so many things that just like, it's, it, there was like moments like, Hey, remember the originals? You remember them? Haha, -ha, we did what you want! Haha, -ha, that's... Remember them? I really hope that... If, I mean, if J.J. learned that... I mean, that's... J.J. Abrams, that's the only movie of him I, I watched. Force Awakens. So, I have no knowledge of him as a filmmaker outside of Force Awakens. Just saying that. Um, just... I did like the visuals and everything, and I mean, but... The plot point, the things, like, things that didn't make sense to me, unnatural dialogue, stuff, little problems like that, it just, I knew, just, why, just, I didn't like something that J.J. Abrams did in Force Awakens, like, it really felt like it's some moments of Force Awakens, it's like, I'm gonna put it, it's the only Star Wars film I'll ever direct, so I'm gonna put it here, like, references of Empire, references of A New Home, like, all over the place, it's like, I mean, some of the things, things felt alright, like, this is the ship that made the Kessel Run less than 14 parsecs, 12! That was fine with me, like, the thing on the Falcon, that, those were fine, but, like, Snoke being Palpatine 2.0, um, Starkiller, oh my goodness, Starkiller base, oh my god. That was just a disaster. I really like for okay. If I'm sounding like a Force Awakens hater, don't get me wrong. I love this new film. A brand new chapter to Star Wars, but I love the characters. I loved it, but they were just call I hey I just couldn't stand up pandering to the original trilogy. I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the original trilogy as a Star Wars fan, but just I just don't know how to... I mean... If you learn his mistakes and won't make reference, too many references left and right to the original trilogy and just make a good, solid story, I'm completely fine with that. But the fact that they did this in Force Awakens worries me. I don't want Kylo Ren... I don't want Snoke electrocuting Rey and then Kylo Ren saving her and killing Snoke. Well, sacrificing himself, if that happens. If there will be a Death Star 4.0, I will just... I don't care, I just scream in the, cine, in the cinema, why would you do this? Probably won't over exaggeration, but... God, if he makes Death Star 4.0, I will just lose it. I, I will lose it. I, Death Star first one was great, Rogue One made it even better. Death Star 2.0, fine. Circular base, terrible. I don't understand why Starkiller Base was even a thing. Why did no one disagree to this? They they knew people were gonna have a problem with it, so why did you do it? I mean, there was just, I mean, I don't know, just... Man, I'm really getting off topic. Um, so my overall thoughts are, I'm worried. I'm really worried. I mean, with... Episode 8 seems to be the only Star Wars movie currently that doesn't or didn't have any mistakes or um, issues with the filmmaking, like Force Awakens, um, Harrison Ford broke his ankle, I think, not sure, but except for that, everything went smoothly, from what I remember, um, Rogue One had, had all the reshoots, Han Solo, like, different directors, some um, actors being fired and quit, um, I don't know, and with episode 9 now, with J.J. Abrams, I just, I mean, I hope his fanboy doesn't get in the way like he did with Force Awakens. I just 
really hope that he will realize that he needs to make a good story. I mean, I just, I'm ready for episode 9. I really am ready. I'm so excited for episode 8 because it's gonna be new and different. But I swear, if, I said it already, but if, if he does death, new Death Star, or Starkiller Base 2, or now they're gonna put it on the sun and it's gonna blow the whole galaxy, I don't care. It'll be terrible. I am just, ugh. I'm sorry. I really sound negative in this video, but I, I, I'm i trying not to do it as hard as I can. It just, the thing with Force Awakens that I did, I just did not like. I loved the movie overall, but there were things in there. Like, the force, how it's like, it's a thing that, yeah, you can just do it in like, oh, oh, the, the scene with Ray and the mind trick, just, people, there, it's, it's a cool scene, but it makes no sense, like, Ray, she, she doesn't even know what a mind trick is, she, oh, from what we've seen, mas only masters, like, Obi-Wan can do it, uh, only ma Jedi masters can do it, she, she's not even a, pa she's not even a youngling, she's just, oh, the force, oh, uh, you will free me, it's annoying, it's just, ugh. I don't know. So like, I don't have a problem with I don't have a problem with her defeating Kylo Ren. But okay, this video is probably too long. I have no idea. I'm just recording this right now. But just quickly wanted to say my thoughts on J.J. Abrams directing Episode Nine. I'm worried, but I'm cautiously optimistic. Really cautiously. If he learned his mistakes, if he's not gonna do any pandering to the original trilogy and gonna make a good solid story. I'm fine with that. But if he's gonna make Death Star 4.0 and have Rey and Kylo and Snoke be in the situation Luke, Vader, and Palpatine were in, I'm just gonna move it. I, I, I just, no. So these are my thoughts. What are your thoughts on JJ directing episode 9? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to hear them. Um, Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.